You look so pumped. Woo! Whoa! Please don't come off. Please don't come off. Get out of the lily pad. Whoa! It's a freaking giant! Oh my gosh! It's a freaking giant! What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Colin J and we are beyond excited for today's episode. If you watched a couple of videos ago, we announced a brand new partnership with Old Town Kayaks and we are beyond stoked to take our brand new Sportsman 106 powered by Minkota models out on their maiden voyage today. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better day. Right. The sun is shining. It is warm. There's snakes literally slithering in the grass mats. There's turtles everywhere. There's fish flickering. I'm in a tank top and shorts. Yeah, I'm wearing, I'm wearing <laughs> jeans, which are kinda, I'm kind of feeling the heat right now, but that's all right. I think that we are about to catch some fish. So we got a couple of goals for today's video. The first one being to take these boats on the water and give you guys our first overall impression on how these guys perform on the water. And then secondly, to catch some big bass. So it's springtime, it's been really warm, and like I said, the lake is alive. And there's some big ones cruising in the shallows. I've already seen them today. The water's cleared up and there's a great chance we can catch a big one today. So that's the second goal, to catch a big bass for y'all. So before we launch these guys in the water, we're gonna show you guys kind of the setup, how you get these things rigged up before you take them out on the water. And then once we're out there, we'll kind of go into to a few more additional details on you know how the how the boats are forming how to operate them so if you're excited to see these kayaks in action be sure to hit the like button and go ahead and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future adventures in these kayaks we're gonna get our kayaks rigged up and then we're gonna get them out on the water for the very first time Whew, I can hardly wait let's, let's get them go. rigged up We've mentioned this several times already. These kayaks are operated by trolling motors, so you gotta install the trolling motor, you gotta install the battery. It's a few extra steps that you may not be used to in kayak angling, but it's all worth it in the end because we're not gonna have to paddle, and that's amazing. <laughs> You don't have to paddle these kayaks. I'm still wrapping my head around that. So here is our middle console. This is the trolling motor. I believe it's a 45 pound thrust trolling motor. So it's got a lot of power and we're gonna set it right here in the middle console. So this trolling motor console comes with these little kickstands that allows you to get the boat rigged up while you're still on dry land. And it comes with these little pins that you'll lock the thing into place. So we're gonna get this sit here in this middle console. Here is our little locking mechanism right here. You simply just turn these knobs to the lock position and it's locked in, you hear that? We're locked in. And the kickstand keeps the motor up so it's not dragging on the ground. Really cool. Now we're going to supply the power. Here's our power cord. It plugs in right here, super simple. So you line it up, plug it in. All right, that's the first step's power. Now we have to plug in our battery. Underneath the seat is where we have our battery. I've already got it inside its box. This is a 27 group deep cycling, just marine battery. It's recommended for this kayak and for the trolling motor. So we got that all locked in. And then here's our other power plug. It plugs in back here. Same sort of deal. Oh, and you just plug her in. All right, we should have full power. Now for it all to work, you have to plug in your kill switch key. It comes provided with the boat. It's right here. This will plug in right here. Okay, so now we have power. Let me prove it to you. Here's our throttle. Oh yeah, nice. look at that. That's exciting. We'll get more into the throttle system once we're on the water, but we just wanted to make sure that it all worked before we got out there because that would suck. Okay, so that's all we have to do to get this boat rigged up. Like I said, it's kind of a burden to carry a battery around, but pros definitely outweigh the cons. So let's get Jay's boat all set up. We're gonna go out on the lake and we're gonna show you guys all the awesome, amazing features on this kayak. All right, so we've successfully made our way out here on the lake. Let's show you guys how to operate these things. So, first off, you're gonna want to deploy the rudder. The rudder's gonna help you steer. So step one, there's a handle. As you can see, Jay's got her hand on it, and she's just simply going to lift the lever and deploy the rudder. Look at that, and that rudder is huge. That's a huge rudder, it's gonna really help. Okay. Okay. Now let's show you how to work the motor. I'll show you right here. This is your power steering handle. It's just like in any other bass boat. You're just gonna go forward, to go forward and backwards to go in reverse. It's very, very simple. So, Jay, <laughs> let's see if it works. Okay. You may go forward or backwards? You can go backwards first. Okay. Let's see if it works. And just like that, <laughs> that 
That's cool. She's going backwards. Now check out her feet. She's using her feet to steer the rudder, which is really cool, which makes this kayak completely 100% hands free. Okay, give us some forward action. <laughs> you look so pumped. Woo! Whoa! Do a circle around me, do a full lap. Okay. <laughs> look at this, guys. This is awesome! What are you? Now, if you were in a lake where you didn't have a bunch of obstacles, unlike this lake, we have a ton of stumps, you could literally just let go of that throttle handle and you could just steer with your feet. Out here, we have some stumps, so it's kind of critical for us to kind of keep our hand on the throttle or just to go at a slow pace. We don't want to go wide open out here because we'll <laughs> jack ourselves up on a stump. But that was awesome. Oh my gosh. It's Look so that. easy. Do another lap. Just do another lap for funsies. It's so easy. You go fast. You can go fast, you can go slow. This is nice. Really cool. <laughs> that is awesome. And that blue kayak is beautiful. I love this orange one, but you look good in that blue kayak. Thank you. For sure. Like, Old Town knocked that out of the park with the colors. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. These are the only two colors offered, but you don't have really a need to choose any other color. We've got one more thing we want to try before we take these things over to our fishing spot, and that is the stand-up stability. Now, sitting down, I feel rock solid. I don't think I'm going anywhere. So, I like to stand up my kayak. I'm not much of a sit-down kayak angler, so let's give it the old stand-up test. That was pretty easy. We're rocking. Just kind of lean over to the right. Feels really solid going this way. Lean to the left. I don't want to flip it. I don't want to put too much. I know I can flip it probably. <laughs> That's solid. The platform is really nice. I've got a stump right there. I'm right, gonna give it one more test. We'll give it the cast test. Here goes nothing. Make sure ain't no rods out of the way. All day. Easy. Whoa. Just in case. Get a big one. <laughs> All right. Feels pretty good. I'm ready to go fishing. Let's scoot these little dudes over to where we're gonna fish at and let's put these guys to the ultimate test and let's see if we can catch a largemouth. The first fish out of the kayaks. What do you think, Jay? First, fi first person to catch fish wins. Yeah. I don't know what we win, <laughs> but the first person to catch fish out of the new kayak wins. You're going down. You're going down, little Team lady. Blue Jay. Team, I don't have an, I haven't decided on the name yet. <laughs> Maybe by the end of today's video, I will pick one of the names one of you guys left in the comment section to name this kayak. So let's head over to the spot. Let's get some big ones. All right guys, check it out. Just made it out here to the fishing spot. Let me tell you, it looks juicy. So what we are fishing today is a flat. This is kind of a spawning flat or just like a transition flat. This whole lake is basically a flat, but this is a really, really good spot. Out here, there's a lot of pad stems coming up. There's stumps, there's some submergent grass, and there's grass mats. There's a ton of structure out here for these fish to relate to. And there's tons of bait fish flickering. And uh, it's just a really good spot to fish this time of year it is on flats. So with me, I brought three rods and I have three lures that are really good for fishing grass flats like this. So let me show you guys what I'm working with. First up is a swim jig. This is a divine swim jig from Sixth Sense. This is in a beluga color. And as you can see from the head paint, it has been chewed quite a bit. On the back of it, I have a Sixth Sense stroker crawl. This is a new plastic that Sixth Sense has released for this year. And it has tremendous action. It fits great on the back of this as a trailer and it simply gets chewed. It gets the job done. Caught a ton of fish with this thing. I was even catching them in the winter time with this thing out here. Really solid bait. If you're not throwing this bait, definitely recommend it. It's like one of my top favorite baits of all time. So that's what I'm probably gonna start with. And then to follow up with that, I have another bait that's a little bit better for targeting um, isolated structure. And especially on a day like today, it's really slick calm. This is probably the best option and that it's just a stick worm. This is a six cents clout worm. It's in dark melon red, basically just like a California 420 or a watermelon red color. Really, really solid lure and I mean, arguably, like I said, probably the best bait to be throwing this time of year under these conditions in this environment. Okay, it's different variables, but this is a great bait that just simply gets bit. It's proven, catches a ton of fish. So I'm gonna be throwing that. And then to round up my lineup, I have another one of my favorite baits for this type of area. 
and that is a swim worm. It says kind of an ultra vibe tail on it, throwing an Okeechobee craw color. It's a good color out here on this particular body of water. And I really like this bait. It's a great search bait. It comes through cover really good. I have it pegged right here. I have it above the sinker. I can move it up and down if I want it to be more Texas rigged like, or if I want it to be, you know, more compact that swims through these pad stems really, really good. Big fish love this bait and it catches fish very, very well. So those are the three baits I'm gonna be working with this afternoon. We have about an hour and a half to fish and I'm confident that I can catch fish on all three lures, but I'm definitely confident I'm gonna catch fish. I am just oozing with confidence. So that's the lineup. I'm throwing them all in six cents rods, throwing Lux rods. Primarily I have a unicorn rod on me. All of the products that you see used in today's video, including the kayak, will be linked in our video description for you guys to check out. If you decide you wanna try any of the six cents stuff, be sure to use our code CJ10 save you guys 10% at checkout on these awesome baits. But I'm done talking, I'm ready to get fishing. Let's go catch a big one. Okay, I'm gonna be starting off throwing the six inch clout worm. This is dark melon red. And I also have a swim bait tied on. And just to clarify, those are my legs. They are not hot dogs. <laughs> they literally look like hot dogs right now from what I'm seeing. But yeah, they're my legs. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, making the first cast. Hopefully I catch the first fish. Go on, go on. Oh my gosh, please don't come off. Please don't come off, get out of the lily pad. Oh, it's a freaking giant! Oh my gosh, it's a freaking giant! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! First fish, baby, come here! Come here! Get out of that! Oh my gosh, I can't! I can't grab him! Don't jump! Don't jump! He's barely freaking hooked! No, 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 no! Stop it! I'm trying! <laughs> I'm so excited! <laughs> Holy cow! Holy cow! Yes! That was so freaking cool. Jay, what are you doing? Catching the first fish out of my kayak. Holy crap, that I thing's win. a butterball. Yeah, you just won for sure. Look at the belly. That is a gorgeous largemouth. Holy smokes. Yeah. What'd you catch him on? I caught him on my clout worm. Dang, I just told the folks at home that that was probably gonna be the winning bait yeah. out here today. Yeah, for sure. Wow. And looky, looky. Oh He's my God. It's kind of a short fish, but turn it sideways so we can see its belly. Look at that. Now that is a pre-spawn female if I have ever seen one. Great job. I was so pumped. That is an awesome inaugural fish catch in this yeah, kayak. Yeah. Oh. You want to weigh it and see how big it is? Sure, yeah. I the official weight is 310. 310, huh? 3 pounds, 10 ounces. Yep. I see 311. Whoa, 310. even better. <laughs> 311. We'll call it 311. Okay. Nice fish, Jay. Oh, yes. That's a big one, Jay. <laughs> All right, we're about to let her go. Jay, how was catching your first fish out of your new kayak? It was epic. You know, it, I was standing up, I was super stable, and I was able to get that fish in the boat. No you, problem. No problem. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go catch some more. The wind's kind of picked up a little bit. That might do us some good, actually. Yeah. Let's go get them. Hey, good job. Thank you. <laughs> I'm up. All right, maiden voyage number two. I don't know if you saw yesterday, but a front was passing through yesterday afternoon and the conditions just flip flopped 100% while we were out there. And um, ended up not catching any fish on my maiden voyage, which was kind of lame. So we're out here today, it's the next morning, the very next morning, and you can see, you know, we have overcast conditions. I'm bundled up a little bit more. Um, it's about 55 degrees. The water is a little bit murkier than it was yesterday it's because we had some rain and some wind but I still feel confident that I'm gonna be able to find a fish out here. There's a ton of fish out here. I think yesterday was just a weird fluke. And uh, to keep things simple, I just decided just to bring one rod 
and bring a bait I have a ton of confidence in this time of year, and that is a chatterbait. More specifically, this is a Z-Man, a jackhammer chatterbait. Got it paired up with a Sixth Sense Divine swimbait trailer. I also have a Sixth Sense skirt on there because the skirt that I originally had on this bait uh, fell apart because it caught way too many fish. I don't think a bait can catch way too many fish, but this bait caught a ton of fish. So anyways, that's the goal. I'm gonna try to catch fish out here. Main voyage number two, catch my first bass out of the new kayak. Oh, one of my favorite baits on the planet, Chatterbait. If this color doesn't work out, I've got a black and blue also, and I've got a couple of other different trailer options, but we're just gonna roam this flat. We have about a, I don't know, maybe about a 10 mile an hour wind. It's an east northeast wind, which isn't terrible. It ain't, it ain't bad. I also brought a little anchor along with me so I can anchor down into place so I can just make a long fan cast so I can stand up because I can't control the boat if I'm standing up. So let's get this underway. Let's catch some fish. And we're literally just gonna just drift and steer right now. I'm gonna stay sitting down and see if I can find something. Just ta just cast obvious targets. I got a fish. It's a big one, I think. Oh my God, he's running at me. How big is this? Yes. Give me a fish. He smoked it. Get in the boat. Woo, and there you have it, guys. I'm throwing my anchor down. Spot lock. <laughs> Woo, there is my first fish in my new kayak. Unreal, that was awesome. I, he hit it so hard and was running right at me and the boat was drifting towards him, so I had no idea how big this fish was gonna be. Look at that, just absolutely demolished jackhammer chatterbait probably about a two pounder could be a small female feels looks fat so i'm assuming it's a small female full of eggs that's epic let's get that bait out guys i love this bait oh, that's such a good sign we haven't been out here for but about 10 minutes awesome nice little chunky two pounder new kayak gotta love that okay i'm gonna send this guy back and we're gonna get back out there soon we catch a bigger one. Oh, that water feels good. It's nice when the air temp and the water temp are the same. Okay, you ready? Go. Woo! There he is. Number one in the books, guys. Let's catch a bigger one. There we go. He's running right at me. I don't know how big he is. He's running so fast. Oh, it's a nice one. Yes, standing up, baby. What's up with these fish running so fast? Woo! All right, I had just literally stand up. Woo! Yeah, he choked it too. They like it. We're actually quite a bit further away from where we caught our first fish. There's a lot of grass out here. It's really shallow. There's a lot of scummy stuff that I'm having to work my bait through. But we got a little bit of pad stems. Perfect little recipe. This looks a little male. I'm about to throw back out there again see if there's another one. That was like, he bit it so fast. Awesome. Number two. I get excited whenever they're running that fast because it's like as soon as they turn the other direction, well, until they turn the other direction, you don't know how big they are. I mean, the bite felt just like any other bite. Felt like a good fish. Dang. Love to get something like the size of the one Jay caught yesterday. <laughs> something like that. Something like that or something a little bit bigger. I got a big one. I don't know how big he is. Oh, it's a big one. It's a giant. It's a giant. My camera's about to die. Don't die, camera. We got a giant. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. Come here. Oh, yes. My camera literally has 2%. I wanted to make one last cast over here by this tree and we have got a donkey. Yes, that is a beautiful fish. Holy crap, he hit it so good. It's been a while, I haven't had a bite in about an hour and that sucker is awesome. Look how beautiful that fish is. Here, it's weighing real quick. Our official weight is three, he's flopping. Stay still. 
three pounds, seven ounces. Yes, I didn't know how big that fish was. He hit it so good. Woo! Okay, let's get this fish back before my camera dies. Yes. Woo! Yes, 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 yes. That was awesome. All right, we're gonna make a couple more casts and then we are going to head back to the house and wrap up today's video. Maybe we can get one more. I think I literally have 2% of my GoPro. We'll see if we catch one. If not, I don't even care. That was an awesome fish. I'm so jacked right now. I don't think I've ever been that jacked for a three and a half pound bass. He just came right off that tree. All right, I just made it back in from the lake. Let me tell you, we both had a blast taking our kayaks out on the maiden voyages and both successfully catching our first fish out of them. We both know that those are just the first of many to come out of the new kayaks. But let me tell you something, it was unreal how easy it was to fish out of those kayaks. I mean, so far in our early stages of testing, we have nothing but positive things to say about them so far. Yeah, these kayaks are so comfortable and they are so stable. Like y'all saw me, I set the hook really hard on my <laughs> big fish and it was just like, it was basically like I was setting the hook on land. Like, yeah, I like totally forgot I was in a kayak. That's how stable it was. It was great. It was great. <laughs> and another thing, like it was, you know, the trolling motor system worked flawlessly. It was so easy to control mm -hmm. it, go forward and reverse. And there were times when like, remember I got hung up on a stump, I was able to just, you know, put the throttle in forward motion and just go over there and get my bait on hung without having to like paddle over there and get my line all tangled up, twisted up. You know what I'm talking about if you kayak fish before <laughs> using paddles, it's, it can be difficult. And then this morning I was fishing in the wind and it was, it was flawless. I was able to actually fish and not paddle around everywhere. It's kind of be a constant theme in, in these kayaks is you're not gonna have to worry about paddling so much and you're gonna be able to focus most of your time on fishing. So I think that's what we're the most excited about with these kayaks. So if you're new to kayak fishing or you're looking to upgrade your pre-existing kayak, be sure to check the link in our video description. It'll take you straight to Old Town's website and you can check out all the models they have available, including the ones we're using, which is the Old Town 106 Sportsman powered by Minn Kota. It's an amazing rig. They have a ton of amazing boats. They're an amazing company. And we are still so pumped for all of our future adventures in these new kayaks. So if you're excited for all the upcoming kayaks, fishing action be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel thank you guys so much for watching today's video we're, we're calling Jay, Jay and we'll see you on the next video bye, bye guys <laughs>